as I am covering the OSJ in this video runs between inject and value map. So at the rate, why are use case? So what is a bundle? The difference between jar and bundle, which are, and what is the purpose of component and what is the purpose of service? You can come on to a video call and uh, you guys can start uh, asking me interview questions. I'll try to explain. Can we, have, but I wanted to people have interaction based uh, knowledge sharing session, which will have impressions on them. They ask uh, when it will become active. Once the bundle is uh, moved to resolve state, it will automatically call the activate method in the bundle. As part of the activate method, whatever the code is there inside it, if it doesn't throw any exception, then it will become active. If it throws exception, it will be in resolve state only. So there, there, could, there will be a question like, uh, my bundle is in resolve state, it cannot become active, what is the issue? So you can say that the activator uh, class implementation where the activate method is there, there is some exception inside the activate method in runtime exception, we need to fix it. If we fix it, then uh, we can make sure it will be active. Then they will ask, where do you see all these exceptions? We have CRX quick start and bin folder, logs folder, where there is error.log, request.log, edit.log, and then um, multiple logs are there. Error.log file is the one which where we will see all the issues related to the uh, bundle uh, issues. And then um, uh, any questions on the bundle, like uh, uh, what is the difference between bundle and a package? Bundle is nothing but a jar file with uh, manifest data. It's a programming uh, uh, core logic which we have written, which is uh, being understood by the server to implement the functionality. On the other hand, um, um, what do you call package? Package is a zip file. It's just a, you know, you, you combine multiple files, create a zip file in your Windows or Mac, right? That's the zip file. It will have uh, uh, XML. Also, it will have uh, CSS, JavaScript. Uh, it will have uh, HTML. All the files when you group together that is called a zip file but you have to group it in such a manner using package manager of the crxd otherwise normal zip files cannot be installed directly on the crxd so you would need to say that package is a zip file bundle is a manifest implementation uh, of the jars and then uh, which we will have uh, two different purposes basically content also will go under package uh, and then other questions they will ask on the bundle is uh, uh, how you actually create uh, uh, different uh, uh, OSJ components and OSJ services and what is the purpose of component and what is the purpose of service. So as part of bundle, uh, while we are writing the functionalities, we will create uh, OSJ components, which are classes, and then OSJ services, which are interface implementations, which are basically reusable code that we will actually use as part of the our programming logic. So once from the Sling model, we directly get the dialog data. But if you want to perform any other custom operations, what kind of classes you need to write? You need to write OSJ component and OSJ services. From there, you will inject them into a sling model, execute the data, and fetch it onto the uh, HTML. That's what you do. So how do I see the code for the OSJ component and OSJ service? So you can actually uh, see the OSJ component and OSJ uh, service uses in the sling model and then fetch. So I'm just writing uh, write uh, programs where we will uh, use uh, OSJ components and uh, OSGI services and uh, uh, which will be used in uh, sling models and the data will be displayed on site. So if you can see that uh, now we will get all the use cases of uh, uh, all of that. So how you can create a service? You can create a service. First, you'll uh, write the interface class and then uh, you'll mention that uh, interface in the the rate component service equals to that interface and mention that the implementation class is the component which is implementing the service, which is the service which you have written. And uh, you are actually overriding the method inside the service where uh, get writing. And when someone gets uh, uh, this get greeting method called, we are returning hello AEM. And then in Sling model, how do you inject the service? In Sling model, we inject the services using at the rate OSJ service. And here we are injecting the greeting service. Okay. And now we are calling the greeting method where we are calling greeting service dot get greeting. So what is the implementation of greeting service? Greeting service implementation is greeting service IMPL where get greeting method is returning hello AM. So what will it return in the Sling model? It will return hello AM. And how you are calling on the uh, Sightly Sling model? Data SLV use dot model and you are mentioning the Sling model. And in the Sling model, you have this property, right? What is that property? Get greeting. So you can call get greeting. So get method is not need to be mentioned when you are using the Sightly. So greeting meaning get greeting. So greeting model is what? Greeting model, 
because here you have named it as greeting model greeting model not greeting is what greeting is get greeting because get is not needed to write it will automatically take smaller letter of greeting and less of it and then greeting will return what hello am so you have written a osj component which is having a osj service and the service implementation we have written in the component and that service you have called in the uh, OSJ model and then you have actually written in the data in the get greeting. So normally they might ask uh, uh, if I have multiple services implementation of the same uh, uh, component, which one will be priority? It depends on the service ranking. As creating a service, you'll have multiple service rankings, which you can mention in the service ranking. And uh, the highest ranking will be mentioned if you, there is no service ranking. But uh, if there is another way which we can have uh, um, services uh, targets, like uh, when we have uh, uh, three services implemented and we mention a target description, then whatever the target which we mention will be the uh, service that will be called as part of the uh, injection of multiple service implementation. So that's, that's another question. So these are the questions that will come in the OSJ bundles, services, components, and how you are using them and all. Uh, see more about uh, this video is to get the questions from the people so that I can answer them elaboratively so that I'll uh, um, give them the knowledge rather than one-sided uh, information transfer. So it will not be useful or uh, uh, people might not get interested. So I wanted to be more interactive. Uh, if you guys really need, um, uh, you know, kind of uh, session, live session, I'll come live and I'll give you a date and then uh, people can join from anywhere and then... Uh, we all can come onto a video call and uh, you guys can start uh, asking me interview questions. I'll try to explain. Can we having a common uh, kind of interview, uh, kind of exchange, uh, in information exchange, live session we can do. So that's the main purpose of ITV, to, to have everyone aware of the information rather than just keeping it with someone or, you know, making sure it is not uh, being useful. Um, especially for me, I wanted to uh, reach out to the people to have the uh, things shared and then um, have the jobs created and help the employability, uh, all of that aspect. So that's why I have uh, started ITV and then been doing the videos. Uh, it's not just one-sided information transfer because everyone can actually go to the net and then do it. But I wanted to people have interaction based uh, knowledge sharing session which will have impressions on their memory to have longer uh, term impactability so that's what i want to do guys um, thank you everyone uh, thanks for watching uh, uh, second video on the interview questions and answers um, uh, please share it with people who are actually struggling to get the knowledge from uh, internet where they don't know the direction uh, here we are having an interaction driven uh, knowledge transfer it is not just one sided where you will be lost after uh, navigating some path here it's not like that you can be navigated by the already traveled uh, uh, people in that path so it'll be very simple and straightforward uh, please like share subscribe and share it to the needy people and uh, thanks for watching please do comment uh, of all your questions so that i'll uh, help them thank you everyone thanks for watching itv